Hello, and welcome back to another day about fractions. We're going to be learning about adding tenths and hundredths fractions. Read the problem below, then explore different ways to understand how to add fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. Carmen says that she has four tenths of a dollar. Okay, I like to highlight or circle numbers when I have a problem. Troy says that he has 50 hundredths of a dollar. Together, what fraction of a dollar do they have? Okay, they give, the, give us a picture it. You can use a picture to help you add fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. You know 4 tenths of a dollar is 4 dimes, and 50 hundredths of a dollar is 5 dimes. And they put Carmen's money and Troy's money, and they list out the dimes of how they're representing the two fractions they just gave you. Together, Cameron and Troy have 9 dimes. Nine dimes is 90 hundredths or nine tenths of a dollar. Okay, notice they put or, because remember we were talking about equivalent of fractions and 90 hundredths and nine tenths is an equivalent fraction. Model it. You can use a model to help you add fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. Okay, they put Carmen's money and they put it as tenths. So remember, these represent tenths. Then they put Troy's money and they represent it by hundredths. And remember, there's those hundred tiny little squares within it. And then they put it all together. It's all represented as hundredths, but you could also do it in tenths. Now, I just want to put an arrow to kind of show you what's going on. Okay, so Troy's model was that stayed the same. So it stayed as 50 hundredths. So this is 50 still. And then all they did with Carmen's was add those rows. So it could be represented in a hundredths. So this became 40 instead of 4. And they added those together. And they got 90 for the numerator. And in the denominator, turn into hundredths. We are now in the connect it section. Now you will solve the problem from the previous page using equivalent fractions. Number two, what are the denominators of the fractions you are adding? Are they the same? Now, if we look back at the previous page, we see four tenths and 50 hundredths. The denominators are different even though we end up with an equivalent fraction. They are different denominators and that's what they're really asking. So I went ahead and put they are different. The denominators are 10 and 100. Number three. Complete the equation to use multiplication to find the hundredths equivalent to four tenths. Okay, back to equivalent fractions. And if you think back on our previous videos, I continue to say 10 times 10 is 100, so that should be in your brain. So I went ahead and already filled out 10 times 10 because we know 10 times 10 is 100. And we have this top blank. And... I also repeated myself many times in the previous videos, what you do on the bottom, you need to do on the top. So we have four tenths, we did 10 times 10, we know that's 100, and what we do on the bottom, we have to do on top. So four times 10 is 40. Now we have an equivalent fraction. Number four, 40 hundredths plus 50 hundredths. Okay. 
our denominators have to be the same before we can add straight across. They gave us denominators that are the same, so all we have to do is add across. But when I say across, I'm just talking about the top, okay? So our top numbers are going to be added together, but because our denominators are the same, they are going to stay the same also within the answer. So 100 is going to stay as our denominator, and 40 plus 50 is, you guessed it, 90. So now we have 90 hundredths. Number five. Together, Carmen and Troy have what fraction of a dollar? Okay, we just have to look back up because we've already solved this. We just got to figure out which fraction we want to use. So we go back up. Oh, here we are. 40 tenths, 50 hundredths. They have it in the hundredths form. So we could say it's 90 hundredths of a dollar. Or if you look back here where they also named both of the fractions, you can put nine tenths of a dollar. So I'm going to put both so you can see them both and know that they are equivalent fractions. So if you just put one and not the other, it's totally fine because they're equivalent. They mean the same thing. We have 90 hundredths. And we put or nine tenths. Number six, explain how you use equivalent fractions to add a fraction with a denominator of 100 to a fraction with a denominator of 10. Okay, that was a mouthful. Okay, so we're going to break it down. All they're asking is for you to explain how you can use equivalent fractions to add a fraction that has a denominator of 100 and the other one with a denominator of 10. So kind of what we just did. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste what I already wrote and I'll go ahead and explain it to you all. Because Writing it can be a little harder than actually solving the problem. So this is what I'm kind of looking for. Obviously, I don't want you to write a giant paragraph when you answer these. I mean, mine a little longer just so I could break it down for you and it could be in complete sentences. You can find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100 for the fraction with a denominator of 10 by multiplying the top and bottom by 10. Then you can add the numerator of the two fractions now that they have the denominator of 100. Okay, I'm going to explain that using the model that we already had in number three. You have four tenths and you needed to get to 40 hundredths. Let's say you're adding, here, we'll draw it out because I'm a drawler. Let's say you have oops, four tenths and you want to add 200 or oh, you know what? We'll do 20 hundredths. Well, I like to do multiplication because I'm faster at multiplication than I am with division. So I know, okay, 10 times 10, we've already said it a million times that's going to equal 100. So I know what I do on the bottom, I must do on the top. So I'm also going to multiply by 10 on the top. And I like to rewrite them as well because I can kind of get lost in my own work. So four times 10 is 40. And how I've repeated myself over and over again, 10 times 10 is 100. Now that my denominators are the same, I can add straight across. So I'll put my 20 hundredths right here. I'm not gonna do anything to my denominators because I did all that work for my denominators to be the same. So they are going to stay the same now in my answer. 
and all I have to do is add the top. 40 plus 20 is 60. And all of this work is just wrote in sentences. Okay, now we're off to the try it. Use what you just learned to solve these problems. Show your work on a separate sheet of paper. Okay, I'm going to read these and I'm going to post your assignment as this try it. And all you have to do is answer seven and eight. And that's all you're going to have to do for today. So for number seven, Giselle spent seven tenths of her money on a book and ten hundredths of her money on food. What fraction of her money did she spend all together? Number eight, the winning car in a race beat the second car by 19 hundredths of a second. The third car was four tenths of a second behind the second car. By how much did the first car beat the third car? Okay, those two questions, like I just said, are going to be in your assignment. And yes, look back at this video. Look back at the I ready, okay, to help you answer seven and eight. It is okay if you have trouble with it. We will go over it. And I will put notes if anything needs to be corrected within your work. I will make comments. So do not be afraid to get it wrong, okay? If you try and you attempt to show your work or if you show your work on another piece of paper, that's okay. As long as you try, I am here to help. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments after you turn in your work. Once you turn in your try it work, you can put a comment. You can give me a private comment and I can respond to it. And also that's where you're going to see any comments that I list. Like I'll say, try to look back at number three to help you out with number eight. Like little things like that, for example. So try your best, show what you can do, and I'll be here to help you.